Are you guys a fan of scary maps? Ha ha ha. Well, if you are, then this is the map that you want to watch. This map is not only scary, it's actually very informational. Welcome to 12 Command Block Creations. This map is scary. This is Command Block Creations. Why would it be scary? Before this video starts, I need you guys to click that subscribe button and slap the bell to never miss another video. Although for some reason, I am getting infinite slowness, which is just wonderful. Effect unspeakable clear. Ah, uh, let me clear those effects. Nope, still got slowness. Oh! Let me drink some milk. Oh, bet that slowness gives it back to I don't know why I have infinite slowness. We're just gonna have to deal with it. This first command block creation is called number one. Uh -huh. Three by three instant door. I'm sure you guys have seen doors like this, but I'm sure you haven't seen them literally instant. Look at this. There is no pistons. There's no redstone on the side. And it's literally instant. You're not seeing pistons push all these blocks together. This is instant. This is with command blocks. Yeah, that's right. We're not playing with redstone anymore. This is command blocks. And this is number two. So this is the same thing, but it's a five by five. So if you press it, it's literally instantaneous. That is so flippin' cool. Like what? I'm just going to move on to the next one. Number two, you have a levitating elevator, which is pretty cool. So if you press the up button, it will actually levitate you up and then put a floor below you. Now, if you press the down button, it will just make you fall, but it will catch you with some levitation so you don't take any fall damage, which is so flipping cool. What the flip? All of these are so awesome. Number four is a player launcher. Sorry, I destroyed the sign. If we stand on the pink block, it's going to come up with a three, two, one, go, and it's going to launch us into the sky. No slime blocks, no pistons throwing us up, nothing like that. And we just made it up to 1,200 blocks. So we went 1,200 hundred blocks into the sky and now we are falling back down so it's probably about 20 20 second trip all the way up to the sky be sure you bring your parachute because if you don't then you're probably gonna smack the ground pretty hard no 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 not again no i'm not ready i'm not ready oh my god now you could use this player launcher for many things let's say you have intruders coming to your house set five of them on your front door, and if they try to get in, tell them good luck. But our next command block creation is number five, the moving armor stand. Now, I've always wondered how these things work. Like, how do you, how do you, what? Okay, so I hit, so I hit reset just to make sure it was fully reset. Now, this is the start button. Now, if I press the start button, look, oh, okay, let me reset it. Hold on, okay, and then start. It basically TPs the entity name Bob, which is this guy right here. So it just TPs it around. So that one's actually not hard to make. Number six is a house protection bedrock wall. Okay, this is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and click build on it. And what? That is so sick. Now, how do we get in there? We're gonna have to fly over. It's a huge bedrock wall. And of course you could put a ceiling on this if you wanted to. And then if we collapse it, it's gonna take away all the walls. That is so sick. Let me do that one more time. You can see it building all the walls. And now this house is completely protected. No one is going to be making it inside of this house. And then if you collapse them, it slowly takes them away. That, uh, what? That is pretty crazy. Okay, so now let's move on to number seven. Zombie machine, kill the zombie. Okay, so. This is like a zombie machine where we can kill them in different ways. So we just spawn some zombies. That's a lot of flipping zombies. I'm gonna go to time set 1800 so they don't die. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, let's try a falling anvil. Oh, oh my gosh. Just look, there's tons of anvils. I gave myself some night vision so you guys can see a little bit better. Let's try lava. Oh, <laughs> okay. How do I like reset it? Oh, there it is. Clear reset. Okay, let's spawn more zombies. Now let's do iron golems. Oh my gosh, it spawns like 50 iron golems and they're just going at it. That's crazy. Okay, let's clear reset. Make them fly and suffocating wall. That's the last two. All right, let's go ahead and clear these guys. I'm pressing clear. Why is it no do? Okay, I'll just spawn more of them. How about that? All right, let's try making them fly. Oh, they're literally flying. Oh, oh, this is not good. Uh, I hope they get enough levitation to where they fall and like, uh, like, like, 
like die up from the fall damage are they just gonna go all the way to the moon they might they might go all the way to the moon you know that that would be another possibility okay well while you guys are doing that i'm gonna spawn some more zombies and i'm gonna spawn a suffocating wall <laughs> it literally just spawned a wall Oh my gosh, they're still flying up. All right, so it just spawned a giant red wall, which suffocated the zombies. But some, for some reason, it pushed all the iron golems out of there. What are these guys? Hey, you're taking my husk. I needed him for a project. Jeez. Okay, wait, where'd all the zombies go? Are they still flying up? Oh my gosh, they're still flying up. Okay, they're not coming back down anytime soon. Well, this was number eight, the zombie armor stand swapper. But now it is not. Which is honestly pretty cool. Like a zombie armor stand swapper. Like what? All right. I'm spawning the zombie in here. Hopefully this thing still works. So this is a zombie armor stand swapper. Let's give him leather armor. No. Gold armor. No. Diamond armor. Nope. Okay. Let's try a husk. Otherwise we might have to reset the map. Iron armor. Nope. Gold. Diamond. No. Okay. We'll come back to that one. Number nine, the rotating armor stand and others. This is the greatest thing to ever be invented in Minecraft. This is rotating armor stands, but not just rotating armor stands, rotating horses and rotating charged creepers. They just spin around on a little stool. That is so cool. What? Look at that. What the flip? That is just awesome. And it only takes a couple command blocks to do it. So I'm assuming it's not that hard to put some of the code in here. It just gives it slowness. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right. Number 10, the everlasting trap. Just go inside. Don't mind if I do. What happens? Intruder, intruder. What? Everything changed to bedrock. And now I have nowhere to go. What? That's crazy. I have never seen a trap like that. I did not expect that. I honestly expected the floor to fall out below me. Some lava, a lot of cobwebs, something like that. I did not expect the whole thing to turn into a bedrock cage and trap me in there. That is so cool. All right, so moving on to the last two, we have a zombie trap. Just stand on the diamond block. Okay. What does this do? Oh, that is cool. So it's kind of like the house one, but it's with zombies. Right when you stand on a certain block, you get bedrock walls all around you and a ton of zombies trying to eat you alive. That is pretty crazy. And you don't, it doesn't have to be a diamond block. It can just be a random grass block in a grass plain world. Think about that. Number 11, the chicken machine. All right, let's spawn some chickens. No animals were harmed during this map. The lightning bolt. Oh! Well, isn't that nice? Let's try TNT. Oh, it says save for last. Whoops. I didn't save it for last. I did not save it for last. Okay. Well, hey, 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 we'll just reset the map. We got to do this one again, too. Let's reset. We're back on the map here, and let's try number eight because we never got to do this. So number eight is the zombie armor swapper. So if I press... Oh, his name is Billy. I guess his name had to be Billy. That's why it didn't work on the other zombies. So we got iron armor. We got leather armor. We got gold armor and we got diamond armor. That is pretty sick. And then if we fly over here to our last one that we didn't get to finish checking out, the number 11, the chicken machine, we can do the arrow rain, which is just sad. Why would you treat a chicken like that? And then we can do the falling anvil squash. Ha, ha, ha. And then the TNT rain just for the fun of it. One more time. Go. And then over here, it said, thanks for playing. So this is the creator, Gab the Crafter. And he says he has a Twitter and send him ideas on what map he should make next. Guys, I want you to give him ideas on what map he should make next. Let me know down in the comment section below. But I want to say that I have loved this little map. There were some really, really cool command block creations on here that I did not expect, nor have I ever seen before. It put some of the command block creations to truly another level, but this was such a cool map guys i want to thank you all so much for watching if you learned or saw a new command block creation that you were like what how is that even possible i want you guys to leave a like on this video but guys thank you all so much for watching i hope you guys have a safe and fantastic rest of your day and i will be seeing you guys tomorrow in a brand new video stay awesome stay safe and stay unspeakable and i'll catch you guys tomorrow